Hey, Alex, have you learned about the past continuous tense yet in English class? No, I haven't. Can you explain it to me? Sure, the past continuous tense is used to talk about an action that was in progress at a specific time in the past. Okay, that makes sense. How do you form the past continuous tense? You use the past tense of to be and the present participle of the main verb. Can you give me some examples? Sure. For example, he was eating breakfast is a positive sentence in past continuous tense. She wasn't studying is a negative sentence and were they studying is a question. Oh, I think I understand now. So if I wanted to say I was studying for my exam, would that be correct? Yes. That's correct. I is the subject, was is the past tense of to be, and studying is the present participle of the main verb. Okay, let me try one. They were watching TV when the phone rang. Is that right? Yes, that's perfect. You're getting the hang of it. Thanks for explaining it to me. Emily, I feel more confident about using the past continuous tense now. You're welcome, Alex. Do you want to practice some more examples? Sure, let's do a few more. Okay, how about, I was cooking dinner when my friend called. He was running when it started to rain. Great job! You're a natural at this. Thanks, Emily. I'm starting to see how the past continuous tense can be really useful. Definitely. It's a great way to describe what was happening at a specific point in the past. Do you have any tips for remembering when to use the past continuous tense? One tip is to look for time expressions that indicate when the action was happening. For example, yesterday at 3 p.m. or while I was sleeping. That's a good point. I'll try to pay more attention to those in the future. And don't worry if you make mistakes at first. Using the correct verb tense can be tricky but with practice it will become easier. Thanks for the encouragement, Emily. I'm excited to keep learning and improving my English skills. You're welcome, Alex. I'm always here to help if you need it. Hi, Michael. Have you been practicing your past continuous tense lately? Not really. I'm still having trouble with it. Can you help me out? Sure, no problem. The past continuous tense is used to describe actions that were in progress at a specific point in the past. For example, the children were playing in the park when it started to rain. I see. So how do you form the past continuous tense? You use the past tense of to be and the present participle of the main verb. For example, she was cooking dinner while he was watching TV. Okay, got it. Can you give me some more examples? Sure. I was studying for my exam when my friend called. They were sleeping when the phone rang. He was driving to work when he saw an accident. Thanks, Sarah. I think I'm starting to understand it better now. 
No problem, happy to help. Do you want to try making some sentences in past continuous tense? Okay, let me think. We were eating dinner when the power went out. Great job, Michael. That's a perfect example. How about, she was working on her project while he was playing video games. Yes, that's correct. You're getting the hang of it. Thanks, Sarah. I'm feeling more confident about using the past continuous tense now. That's great to hear. Do you have any questions about it? Actually, I do. How do you know when to use the past continuous tense instead of the simple past tense? That's a good question. You use the past continuous tense when you want to describe an action that was in progress at a specific point in the past. The simple past tense, on the other hand, is used to describe a completed action in the past. For example, he played soccer yesterday is simple past tense because it's a completed action, whereas he was playing soccer when it started to rain is past continuous tense because it was in progress at a specific point in the past. Ah, I see. That makes sense. Thanks for explaining it to me, Sarah. You're welcome, Michael. Do you want to practice making some more sentences in past continuous tense? Sure, let's do a few more. How about, I was driving to work when I realized I left my phone at home. They were studying for their exam when the library closed. Excellent job, Michael. You're really getting the hang of it. Thanks, Sarah. I couldn't have done it without your help. No problem, I'm happy to help. Remember, practice makes perfect. Hey Amy, do you know when to use the past continuous tense versus the simple past tense? Yeah, I think so. The simple past tense is used for completed actions in the past, while the past continuous tense is used for actions that were ongoing in the past. That's right. Can you give me an example of each tense? Sure. She ate breakfast at 7 a.m. is simple past tense because the action is completed while she was eating breakfast at 7 a.m. is past continuous tense because the action was ongoing. Okay, I get it now. But what if you want to use both tenses in the same sentence? Ah. Uh. Good question. You use the past continuous tense to describe an action that was in progress at a specific point in the past, and then use the simple past tense to describe a separate, completed action in the same sentence. For example, he was watching TV when the phone rang, uses past continuous tense to describe the ongoing action, and simple past tense to describe the completed action of the phone ringing. I see. So the past continuous tense gives more information about what was happening at the time the simple past action took place. Exactly. It adds context to the sentence and gives a fuller picture of what was happening in the past. Can you give me another example? Sure. She was listening to music when she fell asleep uses the past continuous tense to describe the ongoing action of listening to music and then the simple past tense to describe the completed action of falling asleep. Got it. Thanks for explaining it to me, Amy. No problem. 
Do you want to practice making some sentences using both tenses? Sure, let me think. I watched a movie while she was reading a book. Good job, Tom. Watched is simple past tense because it's a completed action and was reading is past continuous tense because it was ongoing. How about, we went for a walk while they were having a picnic. Perfect. You're really getting the hang of using both tenses together. Thanks, Amy. I'm feeling more confident now. That's great to hear. Just remember to pay attention to the context of the sentence to determine which tense to use. Will do. Thanks again for your help, Amy. Anytime, Tom. Practice makes perfect.